everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. Today, I wanted to show you guys some of my most used skincare products of 2020. I have all of my products here and let's get right into it. So for the purpose of today's video, I wanted to kind of go through like my steps of skincare as well. Starting off, after a full day of makeup, I like to go in with two makeup removers that I like to use. I typically use the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover and this is really great for any heavy makeup, the heavy mascara that you want to just get rid of. This is great. On days that are on the lighter side, I like to use the Bioderma Makeup Removing Solution and this is more like a really gentle cleansing water. It's kind of geared towards for people who have sensitive skin. After removing all of my makeup, I like to go in with a cleanser. This is a cleanser that I've been using for the entire year. This is my second tube and it's like almost gone. It is the Senka Perfect Whip Collagen In Cleanser. This cleanser, I typically don't need to use a lot of it and your skin is going to come out feeling super clean and squeaky and also very hydrating. I know typically a lot of cleansers, it can kind of like take away a lot of moisture out of your face after using them but this one doesn't do that so i really really enjoyed this and i could see myself purchasing this like multiple times and this just really works for my skin after cleanser there are times where i like to use an exfoliator now this one is the clinique clarifying lotion and it's twice a day exfoliator this claims to be a comfortable, non-drying exfoliator that helps smooth, glowing skin. I typically dip the cotton pad twice and then use it all around my face. I try my best not to use this every single day. I typically use it probably like twice a week just because it can dry out a lot of like the moisture out of your skin. I used to have very dry skin because of the products that I've been choosing. I thought that if I use exfoliating, it's gonna clear up my skin. And if I use certain products to really extract everything, it's gonna like help improve my skin. But I recently found out that keeping moisture in your skin is like the best way to maintain your skin. Um, in terms of toner, I like to go in with this toner right here. I'm not sure of the name of it, but because it's all in Japanese, this toner has been incredible. But this toner, it doesn't dry out your skin. Instead, it kind of moisturizes your skin. Initially, it's a very sticky texture, but after applying it on your skin, it kind of just feels very fresh and rejuvenating. So I highly recommend this product. This is actually an empty bottle because I used it all and this is actually like the second bottle that I used because it works really really well. Next, I like to use a moisturizing lotion. I like to make sure that my skin is extremely moisturizing. So I brought two of these bottles just to prove my point that I use this a lot. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Initially, I thought this product was a little bit too thick for my liking since typically I like to use kind of like a gel or a, like a water type product to put on my skin since it used to be very dry but ever since using this product I realized that keeping my skin super moist is the way to go I like to use this product in the morning and at night and for a alternative product to kind of help so I like to use this Clinique product and I really like the application of this. It's like you twist it and there's like a squeezy tube. It's like you're doing a science experiment or something. But I just like to drop two droplets on my face and then kind of go through all of it. So this actually claims that it is to improve looks of lines and wrinkles. So I'm trying to make sure that there's no lines or wrinkles going anywhere on my skin. And it's never too early to make sure of that. So yeah, I really enjoyed this product right here and it's all gone already. If you're not moisturized enough, if you're not moisturized after using the moisturizing lotion and also um, this laser focus serum, I highly, highly recommend this. 
like right here. I don't want to have a glare right here. I really highly recommend this Clinique product. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. For the days that are super dry in the winters or the days that are super hot and dry in the summers, I like to go in with this at night and like it says, overnight mask, it is very thick and very hydrating. After using this product at night, I would wake up having extremely smooth skin. This really helps plump my skin and really restore and hydrate my skin overnight. So I really highly recommend this. For another moisturizing cream that I kind of explored in 2020 would be this Belief true cream moisturizing balm it is a travel size because i got it in one of my ipsy bags so if you're into one of those lighter moisturizer this really works it also has this really gentle like like scent to it like a fragrance i'm typically not a fragrance person but this one works really well it's like very very subtle i'm probably gonna purchase a larger container after i'm done with all my sample sizes because this actually really works for my skin after moisturizing my skin, I like to go in with an eye cream. So I have a lot of eye creams, a lot of sample sizes, so I can really test out what works for me. And something that really worked for me is, is the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. And I have these really little bottles. I like to just go in with a little pump with my ring finger and kind of put it all around my eyes. After putting this eye cream, area around my eyes is not as dry than when I'm not using an eye cream. So I'm still kind of exploring more eye creams to see what works for me, but this one has been working for me in the past year. And every morning during the day, I like to go in with a sunscreen. I've been trying to practice to use more sunscreens just because I know how harming the sun. I've been using children sunscreens and the baby ones, and those actually do not, I don't have like a large reaction to it. But I've been on a hunt for something that works for sensitive skin, something that works for my skin, and I found this one. Watery Essence. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of Bjorn, but this works <laughs> really nicely. So um, it is actually like a super watery texture. Unlike a lot of like the children's sunblocks, it's like very thick. I get like a white cast. This one does not have like white cast. It's a very thin and watery texture that just sits right nicely on my skin with an SPF of 50 plus. So I really enjoy this product. I'll leave a link down below so you can reference this. Last but not least, I like to go to sleep and start my day with a lip balm. And something that has been working super well with for me is this DHC lip cream. It is a very nice, um, it's like a very nice subtle packaging and it's like a clear texture. There's a lot of lip balms that I've tried before and it's super hydrating but it kind of just goes away in like 30 minutes but this product itself i feel like it really hydrates and get all the moisture into my lips again i feel like the theme of my entire skincare is hydration and moisture and i really like them that's it for my video i've been using all of these products religiously throughout entire 2020 I'm ready to kind of throw away some empty containers here after this video. Please let me know if you decide to try any of these products and if it works for you. And hopefully you enjoy these type of videos. And if you do, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.